The driver's car stopped abruptly in the middle of the road. The little kitten that caused it froze, shrank, and did not move at all. This could happen to anyone. But not everyone would do what this man did. He pulled over to the side of the road, got out, and walked onto the highway to pick up the frightened little kitten. The driver, who thought it was just an ordinary cat, probably never made such a mistake. That same night, a phone call went off in the room where Jamie Veronica of Big Cat Rescue was. The call was from the animal hospital where the man had taken the kitten. The caller asked to pick up a baby red lynx. Veronica and her colleagues went immediately and found the kitten still in the box. He did not want to leave the box, but just enjoyed the cozy place. We had to wear our thickest work gloves to move her into our cage, Veronica said. She was very angry and didn't want to be picked up, hissing, growling and biting the gloves. This aggressive behavior only pleased the rescue team. After all, the red lynx is a wild animal, and it would not be good for it to get used to human hands. We don't want her to be friendly with people. She was what she was meant to be a wild red lynx. Now no one will ever know if the animal was lost or if its mother died, but the fact remains that the cub was taken from its mother too soon. To be released back into the wild, the baby must be six months old. Right now it's only two and a half. That means he will spend the next three months at Big Cat Rescue. The thing is, he needs to grow to a certain size to be able to survive on his own. Then he'll be able to forage for food. For now, the baby plays all day with his favorite stuffed animal, a squirrel. And when he gets bored, he switches to a more fun and responsible activity tearing up cardboard boxes.